Hello and welcome. I'm our natural man. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Guild Wars 2. It's a MMO that just came out, and we're going to just take a little look. I'm going to be doing some customization today, showing you my main character. Now, this game I've been waiting to play for a very long time, and I'm just going to show you the races. You can play little Dobby looking like people called Azura, tree people, Silvari. Huge, like gigantic Viking people called Norns, um, humans, as you do in most MMOs, and the Char. And today, my character will be a Char male. Uh, there are loads of classes. It's Elementalist, and it shows you a little preview. Usually, with kind of higher level armor, but not like super high level. I don't want to give anything away. Got well, look. Okay, okay, it might be super high level armor. <laughs> It looks pretty good. Not in that colour, this doesn't really do it for me. But you get Elementalist, Warrior, Guardian, which is kind of like a war mage, battle mage kind of person. An Engineer, which I really like. They're kind of like gun masters. They just like their guns. Ranger, where you get a little pet, and you're also like a bow hunter kind of person. Necromancer, with the dead. Thief, where you're kind of stealthy and pretty awesome. And a mesmer, which is kind of like a trickery of like mind tricks and things. And today I'm going to be playing a thief because I do like the moves of the thief. It says these are adept at the art of stealth. They utilize surprise and shadow to get close to their enemies, and they're deadly in one-on-one -on -one combat. They have an affinity for setting traps and going where they were never meant to go. They wear medium armor. Now the the customization on this is actually pretty good. I'm going to be, I don't, I know probably need, being small is probably a better thing to be sneaky. I want to be big, I want to be intimidating, an intimidating thief. You can choose your physique. The customization on this is pretty amazing. You can zoom in, so if you want to do the head, it usually automatically zooms in if you're doing the head designs. But I'm going to sh not show the armor so I can see the body types. Uh, you can like choose out your muscle and stuff. I don't want to be super thin. I don't want to be huge. I'll just be average. You can choose the design of your fur. This this all kind of changes depending on what race you are. For instance, this one is more about the fur color and the design of the fur, the pattern. Whereas with the human, it would be just like skin color or something. I'm going to have a darker fur though. Oh, there we go. Um, whoop. Oh, for a second there. <laughs> um, oh, it could be a zebra or a zebra. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm gonna, that actually looks pretty decent. But yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to choose that colour. I think, yeah, I'm going to be black and white. It'll be a mix. Uh, hair colour. I don't know. That just looks kind of weird. Your neck just looks dodgy there, you look a bit like a dinosaur. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. And the mohawk, yeah, it's alright, it's alright. I have to make it black though, make it actually look pretty decent. You can do a face, oh, so much customization in this game. Usually this affects the jaw, jawline and the teeth. Like you can have massive teeth, <laughs> huge derpy teeth that you can't even, they're just <laughs> so big. Massive teeth, uh, you can have like no teeth, which is weird. I wouldn't have no teeth. I want to show off the teeth, intimidate people with this. Uh, you can get like a little o ox nose ring and a beard. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And yeah, on this playthrough, I'm probably gonna be doing quite a lot of the storyline, not general gameplay because don't really want to ruin all the different areas, but I'll do my personal story, which I'll show you in a minute. It's one of the big things about the customization. Starting your own personal story. Um, it's the horn style. I'm I like these horns, but I don't know. I don't know. Minotaur. I'm gonna keep these horns. Face details. I'm not going into this too much. <laughs> oh, eye color. That's what I like. Customized teeth. I want, yeah, big teeth. The tilt of the jaw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
not going to mess around with this. I'm not very good when it comes to this. I don't really go go very in depth with this because it's just I like the general things they give you. Now this is the armor. This is where you color your armor. But there are dyes in the game, so you just choose from them. Yeah, I'll keep that. You can literally color every single piece of your armor, which is really good. I like it. And this cow, you don't have to have this. I'm not going to because I don't really like it. It looks kind of weird. Um, it shows you for your eyebrows, and it makes me look kind of really like not threatening whatsoever. Okay, now we're going to get into the personal story. Now this is kind of like your sentences and then you fill in the gaps with whatever you want to choose and they all have different effects on how your character acts in the game and their story. So in my line of in my line of work it's important to understand the power of an anonymity. My talents in, in lie in the arts of stealth, infiltration and escape. I do not draw attention to myself, so I wear this cowl to hide my identity. Determination, so I wear a headband. Or, subterfuge. A mask draws attention and an uncovered face allows people to identify you. I prefer a more subtle subterfuge. Um, subterfuge. A drawn hood lets me blend into the crowd and no one, no, and no one knows I was there. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna have that because the hood's pretty uh, the best one looking out of them. Trouble may follow me, but I can use my charm, dignity, pff, ferocity. What else is it gonna be? I am proud to be part of. Now this is something particular to the char. They have three different legions, uh, main legions. The blood legion is more about strain to battle. The warriors kind of just killing everyone. Ash Legion is more about the stealthy people, which is what I'm going to be, because it's more about what I am, like gathering information, precision strikes, infiltration, which is what I'm going to be doing. And the Iron Legion, which is more engineer class, guns, as it says down here. Um, but I'm going to be the Ash Legion, because that kind of fits my class the best. I would die for my warband, especially someone who's my sparring partner. Now, all these different sparring partners are different classes. Maverick, he's uh, just a combat warrior. He's an uh, Uriel, Uriel is an elementalist. Claw Spur is an extremely calm and quiet. He's even for a, he's a thief. Um, Reva is oh, an engineer, and Dinky is a guardian. And I, I've always had Dinky because he's just got the funniest name. He's also pretty derpy in the game, uh, but he's a guardian, so he's allowed to buff you and defend against the enemies. He's, he kind of helps you through the instances, which you'll see later on. They tell me the soldier that sired me is a loyal soldier, a, a sorcerer shaman, or an honorless gladian. I have no respect for him. <laughs> Never! Now this is where you get to choose your name. And I, maybe if I'm lucky, my friends might have taken it. Damn, it's already in use. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for the first episode. Because I'm going to go get my friend and tell him to give me my name back. But yeah, um, this will be the first episode. Next episode, I'll be starting the humble beginnings of my legendary adventure. Okay, I shall see you later.